Привіт, привіт, мої дорогі студенти. Вітаю вас на каналі Speak Ukrainian. Welcome to the YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. Long time no see you. Давно не бачилися. Давно не бачилися. Як ваші справи? How are you doing? So I had some break from recording a new video lessons for my YouTube channel because me and my team we were very busy for upgrading our uh, the most popular uh, course from an absolute beginner to a confident speaker. Uh, we transferred it on the new uh, gamified and um, easy platform. And also uh, we updated the learning materials. We added more quizzes, exercises, challenges. So um, the course will be launched on uh, March 18. So guys, if you want to start learning Ukrainian or you have very basic level and you struggle to keep going, so you're welcome. Uh, all the details you can find to the description of this video. And today we're going to learn with you the topic uh, family relationships, семейные відносини. And we're going to go uh, deeper into the more intermediate vocabulary. But before we start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, support it, like this video and leave your comments about it. Ну що, почнімо? Let's get started. Cholovik means a husband. Cholovik. Cholovik also means a man. So this word, it has two meanings. Дружина – a wife. Дружина. But дружина is not translated like a woman. Uh, if you want to say a woman, it means жінка. Жінка. Чоловік і дружина, вони, they are подружжя or пара. Uh, подружжя, пара means couple. Подружжя. Pay attention, this uh, word, it has double consonant. Подружжя. Now we have some more interesting and complicated vocabulary that can be confusing for you. So, uh, svekor, father-in-law, husband's father, pay attention. Svekor, svekruha, mother-in-law, this is husband's mother. Svekruha, so svekor and svekruha, these are um, husband's parents. Okay, but test father-in-law is wife's father. Test. Tesha, mother-in-law. Tesha is wife's mother. So test i Tesha. Voni, they are uh, wife's parents. Uh, so I know that in English there are no distinguish between these words. You just have like father and mother-in-law or just in-laws. What about other languages, guys? Uh, do you have uh, different words like in the Ukrainian language? Please write in the comments below, I'm very curious. Narechena, bride. Narechena. Narechenny, groom. Narechenny. Narechena, narechenny. Yeah, you can see this uh, two words, they have the form of the adjectives. So you can easily understand that Narechena feminine gender, Narechena masculine gender. Zat son son in law. Zat Nevistka daughter in law. Nevistka Did or Didus grandfather. Did Didus did just like a short like grandpa. Yeah, and Didus grandfather full. Uh, the next one, very interesting. We have uh, different variations. Baba, babusa, babca, grandmother. Baba, like grandma, babusa, babca. So small kids, uh, they are struggling to pronounce babusa. So they say baba. No babushka. No babushka. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, some more words. Pradit or pradidus great um, great grandfather pradid pradidus again like pradids is like a shortened version prababa uh, prababusa prababca great grandmother prababa prababusa prababca onuk or vnuk 
grandson. Again, you have many forms. So onuk, vnuk is the same, guys. Uh, because um, onuk, uh, this word starts with a vowel. Vnuk, this word starts with a consonant. And quite often uh, in the Ukrainian language, uh, when the, uh, some, we have some changing of the consonant and vowels in the words, uh, especially at the beginning, like utritel or vtritel can be the same it just depends like on the position this word in the sentence it just the f the think of the phonetics onu onuchka or vnuchka granddaughter onuchka or vnuchka and also can be just onuka and you can say onuka hmm i heard this word yes there is a very famous ukrainian folk electric band it is called onuka that means granddaughter and uh, the um, front woman of this band, uh, she dedicated this band to her you know, grandfather, who was a big like um, musician. Uh, so yes, um, it's an amazing band. Please check it out. Highly recommend you. Pleminnik, nephew. Pleminnik. Pleminnitsa, niece. Pleminnitsa. Pochresnik, godson. Pochresnik. Pochresnitsa, goddaughter. Pochresnitsa. Uh, dadko, uncle. Dadko. Titka, aunt. Titka. When we talk about the siblings, we can use the word ridni. Uh, ridni can be translated like native. For example, ridna mova, native language. Or like ridni brat. Vin mi ridni brat. He's my sibling, but here like he's my like full-blooded brother, something like that. Abo ridna sestra. Vona moja ridna sestra. She's my sibling. Ridni brat, uh, ridna sestra. Uh, let's continue. Then we have dvojuredni brat. Abo dvojuredna sestra. Uh, you can translate it like cousin and uh, we have an equivalent of this word like cousin or cousana cousin this is a male cousin uh, cousana female cousin but dvoyuredni brat dvoyuredna sestra this is like second cousin yes if i have like uh, i have a mom and my mom she has a sibling and um, who is my uncle. So my uncle's uh, kids, they are my dvoyuredni brat i dvoyuredna sestra. And then you can say trojuredni brat, trojuredna sestra. This is third cousin. Četorojuredni brat, četorojuredna sestra. Four cousin and so on. And even this uh, words you can add to your uncles, um, aunts, uh, grandparents etc so it can be very complicated also very interesting words um, that doesn't exist in english but we do have uh, in the ukrainian language is kum and kuma so who are these people so uh, kum this is a godfather in relation to the godchild's parents and to each other and kuma this is like a female godmother in relation uh, to the god child's parents and to each other let me explain you so actually i have a friend uh, her name is lisa and my friend she has a daughter her name is solomia so um, i um, i am her godmother so ya yi yi hrishena and ya yi hrishena mama abo just hrishena it means godmother and Solomia, she's my Hreshenitsa. She's my goddaughter. And uh, what is my relation uh, with uh, Lisa? Yes, she's my friend. But as I am a godmother of her child, so Lisa, she is my Kuma. And I'm also to Lisa is Kuma. Yes, very, very interesting word. And also Lisa's husband is my Kum. And for Lisa's husband, I am his kuma. Oh my God, I hope you are not confused. Yes, okay, some um, more words. Machocha, stepmother. 
Machuha, Vichim, Stepfather, Vichim, Pasinok, Stepson, Pasinok, Pacherka, Stepdaughter, Pacherka. Also, we have the word Susit, neighbor, Susit. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, so, guys, we learned with you a lot of very interesting and important uh, words dedicated to the topic Simeini Vidnosini, family relationships. So, how to practice this topic? Please uh, make a family tree. Zrobit Simeini Darovo. So, take uh, a piece of paper and uh, just write in the middle, Ya, yeah, it's me, and then write La Mama. Tato, write their names, then you can say like uh, Dyadko, Titka, Aunt, Uncle, Didus, Babusia, Pradidus, Prababusia. Please write your um, family tree in Ukrainian. Please use this vocabulary and with the help of it you can practice this topic and that's amazing. Um, and uh, if you want you can make a photo of it and send me on Instagram. You can post it, you can tag me. Um, our Instagram page is Speak Ukrainian Language. Uh, I think it will be very cool. Uh, so guys, uh, if you want to learn uh, the beautiful Ukrainian language, I invite you to join our course from an absolute beginner to a confident speaker uh, that will be launched on um, March 18. This is a course for reaching the uh, solid beginner level. It lasts two months and this uh, course is upgraded. Uh, it will be on a new gamified um, platform. Uh, and uh, I created it in uh, September 2021, but I, uh, mm, me and my team, we, uh, we made it better, we updated it. Uh, there will be the workbooks, um, exercises, quizzes, challenges, you will be able to get the coins. So, and the new platform, it's something like Duolingo, but it's much better because there are video lectures from me, there will be a live community, uh, you will be able to have uh, speaking lessons. Um, so it's the full course. Uh, and please check out our website speaky.com. There you can find uh, textbooks, flashcards, you can book a try lesson just for one dollar. And also I wanted to show you, I don't know if I can, Today I have very beautiful uh, costume. I will show you uh, the photo of it. Uh, it was gifted uh, to me uh, by the Ukrainian soldiers who are at the front line in the uh, right riverbank of Kherson. And I have a charity project, charity store buy t-shirts, save Ukrainian life. Uh, thank you so much people who supported or send donations to me and then I can help um, directly to people whom I know and trust in Kherson with the humanitarian aid and I uh, helped uh, soldiers uh, with uh, uh, buying them this uh, stoves and uh, buying the sleeping mats uh, during the cold winter and to say thank you they sent me this, this costume and I appreciate it so much. It's, it's, uh, it touched my, my soul, really. Um, and two years of war, so please support Ukraine, keep supporting. It's, it's nightmare. Okay. Whew. Uh, thank you so much. I hope this lesson was very useful for you. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for supporting my uh, YouTube channel on Patreon. Thank you so much. Your teacher, Ina. Vasha Chidelka, Ina, and Papa. Bye bye.